I'm going to talk about the features of our 6D helmet. Robert and I both come from a riding background, and not only did we want the safest helmet in the marketplace, but we also wanted a helmet that was very functional from the rider's standpoint. We designed our shell with no sharp protrusions, wings, or fins hanging off of it. We didn't want anything that could incite rotation upon impact or get caught on another bike or whatever in the event of a crash. We use a tricomposite weave of carbon fiber, aramid fibers, and fiberglass in the shell material. And then we also have two models that are 100% uh, 3K carbon. And the carbon fiber helmet has some other properties which are advantageous, mostly in the weight department. We designed the visor completely with the rider in mind. When you're on the racetrack and you're following another rider and you need to block roost or whatever, you need a straight edge there that you can put your head down and block roost. So uh, radical angles and things that uh, look, might look good from a design perspective aren't functional in the rider's perspective. The other thing we did with our visors, we designed some specially engineered visor screws that are designed to shear off under load. You don't want the visor to catch on the ground and in sight rotation, so each visor screw is counterboard down the center, so it's weaker and will shear off in the event of an impact or a heavy load. Another unique feature of the 60 helmet is the sternum protector. We extended this uh, chin bar pad outside of the shell around the front edge of the helmet so that this polyurethane foam is the, would be the first thing that would contact the sternum in the event of a chin to chest type accident. Just again to try to isolate some of the energy and provide better protection. We have a cutaway clavicle area on the bottom side of the chin bar basically to provide more clearance in the event that you uh, get the helmet shell into the coll collarbone, which is obviously a common injury for uh, motocross riders. The 6D helmet has a easily changeable um, three-piece comfort liner on the inside. We offer a separate accessory liner made out of super cool material, which is a very open cell foam that extracts heat and moisture uh, more quickly and allows it to evaporate out of the helmet's interior in hot environments better than the uh, production foam liner. The helmet is aggressively vented to feed air into the air gap and um, basically what that does is allows a constant airflow of cooling air through the interior of the helmet, basically evaporating moisture and extracting heat from the interior of the helmet's environment. One additional feature of the helmet is the mouthpiece design. Um, there's two posts in here that secure it to the helmet. They're basically designed to break away in the event of an impact that might load the front of the helmet and incite rotational forces. Additionally, the chin bar design here works as a big spring in the event of a impact. Um, basically, the flexure in this helmet right here in the uh, front of the helmet, if you were to uh, have a face plant type accident, also helps mitigate and manage the energy transfer into the helmet. Our 60 helmet also has emergency removable cheek pads. It's real simple. Basically, you just grab the helmets underneath the cheek pads underneath this and pull forward, and the cheek pads will pop right out. And that's in the event that there's an emergency on the track. It helps the EMTs get the helmet off the rider without compromise.